So 2021 is coming to an end. And that means it's time for me to go over the new DC animated films that will be released in 2022. Catwoman Hunted. Now this film actually looks like it might be pretty good. It's drawn in an anime style and as for the plot, basically Catwoman is the world's greatest thief and as such there are a lot of warrants out for her arrest in a lot of different countries. So she makes a deal. She'll infiltrate an underground criminal empire called Leviathan and help to bring it down and in exchange her warrants will disappear and she will no longer be hunted, hence the title of the film. So Catwoman teams up with Batwoman and they go up against a whole host of villains including Black Mask, Solomon Grundy, Cheshire, Talia Al Ghul and the apparent leader of the group, Barbara Minerva, who's also known as Cheetah, who you might remember from the second Wonder Woman film. And this movie is set to be released on February 8th, 2022. DC League of Super Pets Now, the Super Pets are literally that, the DC Heroes Pets, who of course have the same abilities and personality attributes as their owners. And they go on adventures, both solo and in team-ups, just like the regular heroes do. And The Rock will be voicing Superman's dog Crypto, who is from the planet Krypton and as such has all of Superman's superpowers, including heat vision, super strength, ice breath and all the rest. And Kevin Hart will be voicing Batman's dog, known as Ace, who has no powers but does have a utility belt in the form of a dog collar and is usually very serious, just like Batman. Though sadly the dog hasn't travelled the world learning every form of martial arts. Although I must admit, I would love it if they added that to this film's story, because that is adorable. And Kate McKenna and Keanu Reeves will also be adding their voices to this film, though sadly their roles haven't been announced at the making of this video. And I have to say that personally, I am really looking forward to seeing this film, as I think the Super Pets are just awesome and adorable, and I can't wait to see what they do with these characters. And a video game based on this film, titled DC League of Super Pets, The Adventures of Crypto and Ace, was announced during DC Fandom, and it's set to be released in the spring of 2022. And the film itself will be released in cinemas on May 20th, 2022, and then 45 days later it will be streamable on HBO Max. Teen Titans Go! and DC Superhero Girls Now while a lot of DC animation fans don't like Teen Titans Go!, and I might actually be among them myself, it is undeniable that they get a lot of ratings, and they certainly have a strong fan base out there, which is why Warner Bros keep releasing new films with the Teen Titans Go in them. Now, the Teen Titans Go is a show that is a goofy reimagining of the classic Teen Titans anime series. And although I can't say I'm really looking forward to this film, to be fair, Teen Titans Go vs Teen Titans wasn't actually too bad a film, yeah, it was annoying in places and very dumb in places, but overall it was actually quite an enjoyable watch. And I think balancing the Teen Titans Go's goofiness with the Teen Titans seriousness leveled the film out a bit. Of course, with that being said, I don't know if them teaming up with DC Superhero Girls will work in quite the same way. After all, DC Superhero Girls is basically set in a high school and features teenage versions of all the DC characters as students at this high school though still with the same powers that they normally have, of course. And although they're not very serious, they are still more serious than Teen Titans Go, so it could actually balance it out. And I must say that although I'm not a huge fan of DC Superhero Girls, the show and movies that they've released do actually have their moments, and the show is definitely more serious than the Teen Titans Go show. So if they can find a balance with the goofiness to serious level, well, this could actually be quite a good film and it's set to be released in the spring of 2022. Green Lantern, Beware My Power Now, the Green Lantern is basically a space cop who has a power ring that gives him superpowers, and he polices the whole of Earth, along with a whole lot of other planets, that are in his sector, which is his little part of the universe that he's supposed to police. Now, I've always thought that this is actually quite ridiculous, because he is literally managing whole galaxies, and a single man cannot police galaxies. Hell, he can't even police one planet, no matter how powerful he is. Not unless he can be in literally millions of places at the exact same time, because it's just not possible to do it otherwise. But with that being said, I'm not actually running it down. Yeah, it's a little bit silly, but you can go with it. And Green Lantern is a great premise. 
and the animated films that have been released before have actually been pretty good. Yeah, the live action one wasn't that great, but seriously, the animated ones are pretty good. And the same is true of the solo animated Green Lantern series. Well, at least it was well written. Personally, I always thought the animation style wasn't too great itself, but the characters and the plot were pretty entertaining. Now, sadly, no details on this film have actually been released at the moment. We know that there's going to be a Green Lantern film, yes, but that's pretty much all we know. We don't even know which Green Lantern it is, because there's actually several. There's Hal Jordan, Kyle Raynor, Jon Stewart, Guy Gardner, Jessica Cruz, and Simon Baz. Although since Jessica Cruz has already had a film all about her quite recently, it's unlikely that this film will be about just her. But we don't know for sure, it could be about Jessica Cruz. Although hopefully it will be about all of these Green Lanterns, because I would love to see a film that featured all of them. And this film is set to be released in the summer of 2022. Super Sons Now this film is being announced as the first completely CGI film in the DC Universe. And presumably they mean the straight-to-DVD DC films, as there have been other computer-animated DC films released in the cinema before, both the Lego films and even that DC Super Pets film I mentioned just a minute ago. Now, The Super Sons is a comic which stars Damian Wayne and Superboy, who are of course Batman and Superman's sons. And the comic is actually pretty good, and it is basically like seeing Batman and Superman as kids, as their personalities are more or less the same. Or at least the same enough that you can think of it that way. And I do recommend reading this comic because it's definitely worth a look in. Now sadly no details about this film have been released. And I mean no details at all. And all we really know for certain is that it's set to be released in the fall of 2022. And there is also the short movie being released titled Constantine House of Mystery. Now Matt Ryan will be reprising his role as John Constantine. And again that's pretty much all we know about the film. Though presumably it will of course explore the House of Mystery. And it may actually show us exactly how Constantine was able to get a hold of the House of Mystery in the New 52 universe. After all, if you remember in Justice League Dark, he has possession of the House of Mystery. But we don't actually see how he got possession of it in the first place. So hopefully this film will explain that. But we will have to wait and see because, again, we don't actually know what's going to happen in it. And that is all of the DC animated movies being released in 2022. Or at least it's the only ones that have been announced as of the making of this video. If another one comes out that I haven't talked about, I apologise, but they didn't announce it early enough to build up any hype. And I have to say that I think I'm most excited for the DC Super Pets film. I mean, I do love animals and I do love these little super pets because they're just adorable to watch in action. Though a couple of these projects could be really good. Both Super Sons and Green Lantern have an absolute wealth of comic stories to draw from, and some of those comic stories are really, really good. So they do have some great potential. But which one of these films are you most excited to see? And what do you think the plots will be of Green Lantern and Super Sons? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store. And to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.